designing your email templates, you can add your own icons to support your company's brand. In this video, I want to show you how you can add icon images to your email templates in Act Marketing Automation. Now, icons work in a similar way to social media buttons, but the difference here is that you can use any image from your image library. You can add as many as you like, and you can link your icons to any website. You might include icons for sections of your website, your social media platforms, SMS messages, or even an icon that links to a landing page. I've created four icons and I've already uploaded them to my image library here in Act Marketing Automation. So now let's just add them to the layout of a template. To start, I'm gonna to go to my email templates area, and then I'm gonna edit this Cloudwalker newsletter template. I'd like for my icons to appear to the left of each of these four sentences. So I'm going to select this entire row, and then using the Row tool, I'm going to add a new column to the row. Now I need to move these items to the right column, so I'll just drag them over one by one. Like that. And then I'm going to resize it so that the left column is about three and the right column is nine. Now on the content tab, I'm gonna click and drag the icons content item to this left column. Now if I click the icons button itself, over on the right I have some options for my icons. I wanna add four of them, so I'm gonna click this add new icon button four times. Next I need to change the image on each, so starting with the top one, I'll change this one to my company logo. I'll change the second one to the glass icon. The third one is going to be for the can, and the fourth one will be the bottle icon. If I go back to my rows tool, I think I need to squeeze this down just a little bit more. There we go. Now they each appear on their own line. Looking at each of these icons, if I toggle the More Options switch, I can now add URLs to each of these icons. Down below, I can also change the size of the icons, the spacing, and even the padding. Once you're happy with the way everything looks, click the Save button at the top, and now my icons are visible in the template, and they each would link to different places on my website.